Uh, before we go into the viewer and listener questions, can you talk through, you've got new shoes on at the moment, so talk us through what <laughs> happened with your bags when you arrived oh. to Adelaide, please. Wow. One of my bags got left in Manchester, so right. I, I brought two suitcases and my, my bag with all my football boots, shin pads, trainers, got left in Manchester. So I had to buy a brand new wardrobe of trainers, football boots in Adelaide when I got here. When you say wardrobe, how many football boots did you need to get? Um, I needed two pairs and then I also needed like three, four pairs of trainers. Yeah. So have you got a shoe thing or you just... Yeah, I love, sh- I love trainers. Okay. Sadly, I, t- I had to leave a lot, a lot of them at home. How many pairs you got? Probably three figures. Over 100. Oh, look at the big dog over here with heaps of shoes. You only got two feet, mate. No, that's okay. I'm jealous. Okay. Um, let's do the question time here with Zach Clough. Uh, how do we follow you on social media? What are your social accounts? Um, it's Zach Clough on Instagram. It's quite pretty easy to find me and same on Twitter. A lot of people say your name wrong, do they? Are they calling you Clough a lot of the time? It's Clough. Like, but that's my accent. I think I don't know if Australians can pr- pronounce it like that. Clough. So am I saying it's Clough? Clough. So Clough. Clough, yeah. That's right, yeah. Clough. This is... Now, I'm, gl- I'm <laughs> glad you said that. I'll tell you what, because I ask people at the club how to yeah. say your name. And like, no, no, it's like Clough, like cough. And I'm like, no, no it's not. It's Clough. Clough. It's like Brian Clough. Yeah. It's the same. Brian Clough. This is... i tell you what, I've been saying his name wrong because I was making sure. <laughs> All right? Should have asked Clough. Me Should have asked me before. Man. Well, I've asked you a couple of times, <laughs> but I couldn't understand you. In the nicest way possible, of course. Have you tried Vegemite before? So let's just do this and get it out of the way. <laughs> um, you can have... Uh, that's completely up to you how much you want to have. Just a little bit of taste. Um, I think it's important to try just a little bit. So a lot of people have this on toast. It's a, a staple. Um, <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. Good luck, you happy little Vegemite. <laughs> we got any water? No, we've got Everlast and McCafe. <laughs> All right, good luck. A little bit on there. This is Zach Clough with Vegemite. <laughs> you don't like it? Oh, like he's spinning on just give me something to spin into. Just chuck a piece of paper. He's gonna vom on the podcast. Oh, I feel like I'm on I'm a celebrity, get me out <laughs> Just give him that! Just give him something! <laughs> you don't need that! Just give him that to spin into. Any water? Just GL get him a water. Oh. <laughs> oh. I really wanna swear, man. No, don't swear. Um, <laughs> Vegemite have just come on as a sponsor of Adelaide United. No, they haven't. Well, We're getting water. You okay? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's horrendous. No, it's good, mate. You just get used to it. Maybe it might be better on a piece of toast, but it's very like... Yeah, it's salty? Just, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't have done that myself. Far out. But you're a, you're a mad dog for doing that. You've got olives in it. Um, something like olives? Olive oil or something. Unless this has been in the cupboard for a couple of years. I don't know. I think it's okay. Uh-huh. It's been in the fridge for a while. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, gee, I was just getting you a glass of water. That's fine. Okay, here we go. Uh, fan questions. Don't, don't look at them. Um, Dane Wybrow, if you had to sing karaoke in front of your teammates, what's your song? Um, I had to sing when I came here and I sang at Ed Sheeran, Lego House. Just something yeah. a bit slow. You're a good singer. Did Lockie no, Brook bring out the guitar? No, I'm terrible. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> Um, hold on, the water's coming now. Oh. <laughs> Can you please take the spitty Vegemite piece of paper as well? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't leave that to the end. Rachel Laurie on Facebook. Where's the most accommodating real estate office in Adelaide to charge a phone when you power it off after hours? Um, I can't remember the street. O'Connell Street? Yeah, Ray White. <laughs> Ray, White. Ray, White. Yeah, Ray White. Ray White. Rachel Laurie. Um, <laughs> Alex in Adelaide. On Twitter, favourite food and drink you've tried in Australia? Um, I don't know. I don't feel like the food's any different to home. Yeah. It's probably fresher. The food's a lot fresher. Yeah. I like Estia down at the beach, Henley Beach. Estia's really yeah, good. I really, I like There's good a nice food. place on top of Estia called Henley. Yeah, a few lads have said that too. Fancy I food. Um, are you like a shirt off at the beach type of guy? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Okay, answer that very quickly. Um, Sam Sill on Twitter, do you rather a goal or an assist? A goal. Torren McGill on Twitter. How do you, LaFondra, and the Cum Dog know each other? I played with Cum Dog at Nottingham Forest and I played with Alfie Bolt. Okay, Joseph Russell. He's a big boy, the Cum Dog, isn't he? He's on the same height as me. No, nah, but I think. Yeah, I he, think weighs, he weighs a few pounds. All, right? all of you guys <laughs> from the UK are built. Like yeah, we do built. a lot of gym. We're different. Yeah. We're built different. Built different. <laughs> oh, listen to him. <laughs> um, Joseph Russell on Facebook. I get a 
cloth and wipe down the bench. He's trying to laugh at your surname, but his surname is Clough. <laughs> so you cluffed that one up, didn't you, mate? <laughs> All right. So Robbie Mad Dog Anderson on Twitter, what's the craziest thing you've seen happen on a pitch? Um, I've not really seen many crazy things happen. A cat ran onto the pitch last season. Oh, here? Yep, literally yeah, I've here. I've seen that. Maybe okay. seen like a bird fly onto the pitch and sit and try and eat some grass or seeds. That's not crazy. That's a normal nah. thing. <laughs> Seagulls in Melbourne. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that was Tim, by the way, who's in the, behind the camera and just <laughs> wants to be part of this. Um, Seboni on Twitter, where would you rate the quality of the A-League men in comparison to what it's like in England? I think it's really hard to compare. I've spoke to a few lads about this. It's really hard to compare it. I don't think it, you can't compare. It's Technically, it's really. I think it's really good. It's not, it's not that far off the championship technically, but physically, I'd say it's a little bit different to England. Do you like... You know, we were talking about the leagues um, not obviously being the number one sport here in South Australia. Yeah. So back home, you probably couldn't go to your local cafe with people having a chat to you or giving you some feedback about the game because they're so passionate. Do you like that anonymity? You get notice here, but obviously not as much. Do you kind of like that or do you like to get noticed with your shirt off at Henley? <laughs> I prefer to be not noticed. Okay. All. Yeah, it's better. All right. Like private life. Danny Wood, nine on Instagram. Did you enjoy your time at Bolton? Yeah, loved it. Yeah, didn't never wanted to leave. <laughs> Josh Nacker on Instagram, but you love being in Adelaide United. Yeah, I love being um, right now. Josh Nacker on Instagram. Would you rather never being able to speak or hear again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a full on question. It's a strange question. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> M underscore D performance on Instagram. Who was your favourite coach at Forest? Um, not hear me ask the question. <laughs> That's Mark Dean. He's, he's a good guy. Um, Andy Reid. Brett Rosie on Instagram. If Paul Simpson was appointed earlier at Carlisle, would you have stayed? I don't know much about him, but he seems like he's doing really well there. Yeah. You never know. I don't get these questions, by the way. Alistair Walton on Instagram. Which has better weather, Australia or Bolton? Definitely Bolton. What sort of weather's <laughs> Bolton got? It's just wet, wet, windy, cold. I love that. Yeah. No, it's not nice. Okay. Phil Heard. That he had a question on Instagram. Mushy peas, yes or no? Yeah, love mushy peas. What's mushy peas? It's like, do you know peas? Yeah, I'm quite aware of what peas are, yeah. <laughs> yeah come on, mate, I'm so 38 years old. <laughs> you know what mushy is? You just mush it up. It's just peas mushed up. So you just mush the peas up? Yeah. Why don't you just eat the peas? I don't know. Okay. Different. Sorry, my bad. Um, Conrad Andro on Instagram. Do you pay attention to what us fans say? Um, not on social media. At the stadium, you can hear it. But. Yeah. Okay. It's weird questions today. Um, uh, Benny's barbering on Instagram. How important is self-talk and confidence? Yeah, massive. It's probably the biggest part of being a footballer, mentally. It's all in the head. Sean Henderson on Facebook. How do you stay motivated to go pro? Did you take every training session at 100% intensity throughout? Yeah, I'd say 95%, yeah. Craig.1239 on Instagram. Favourite thing in Adelaide? Um, the beach. Uh, Aaron Ramos, 3825 on Instagram. Most annoying player? Adelaide. Yeah. Uh, or anywhere? Lockie Brook. Lockie Brook. Ah, <laughs> glad you said that. Lockie Brook on Instagram. Do you have any dogs? Um, yeah, I've got two Frenchies at home. What are their names? Uh, Leo and Marley. Like they're here, here, or? No, they're, at, they're in. Um in England. I thought you were going to say, yeah, yeah, they're in the suitcase with my <laughs> trainers and my yeah, football they got, boots. They got lost. Uh, Lockie Brook on Instagram. Have you ever been to Henley? Um, nah, nah. Spend every day there, probably. It Lockie was, Brook is so busy. Is nice. Why is he such a busy guy? We can talk about this now. Lockie Brook came on the podcast and then a couple of days later got COVID. And we're like, mate, oh God. can you just stay away from everybody? And he's out watching the women's final with his aviator sunnies on. We're like, bro, why don't you just go have a hydrolite or something oh, and he relax? Loves he loves it. He's invited me around for tacos tonight, but I don't think I'll be going. I don't, he's like, this is one of those <laughs> players poison, that man. I just can't wait for his loan to expire <laughs> yeah. here and then just go back, mate. Far out. Yeah. Um, Joe Gauchi on Instagram. How can you be here a month and be more tanned than me? What's your secret? Um, oil on the beach. Well, what sort of oil are you using? Don't know the name of you it. You got a good tan on, yeah. Joe's very, yeah. Joe's yeah, very white. pasty, he's isn't he? Allergic to the sun. Yeah, he looks like a villain from a cartoon. Um, uh, Lewis Gregg on Instagram. What footballers did you idolize growing up? Uh, I grew up being a Man City fan, so I used to love David Silva, Sergio Aguero. Uh, yeah, it's players like that. 
underscore almighty 2K on Instagram. Favorite youngster in the team? Um, who's, who passed that question? Underscore almighty 2K underscore. Um, favorite youngster? Motoro. Okay. He's a good lad. He's a great lad, isn't he? I like them all, though. Yeah. Love them all. Which one don't you like? No, don't answer no, that. All of them. <laughs> uh, AUFC fan on Instagram. Is Jared, is Jared Walsh making you feel awkward during this section of the podcast? No, not at all. I'm just reading questions, bro. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Don't touch me, Kobe. <laughs> um, GL on Instagram. That's you. That's you. This is a Vegemite guy. Yeah, um, most famous footballer you've crossed paths with? Played with. Or like just walked past or played with or played against? Probably Steven Gerrard. Played against Steven Gerrard. That's not bad. He's 500 for, 500 for parents for Liverpool. Huh. I think you just uh, really beat him as well. dropped a name there. <laughs> That's, are you happy with that one, GL? That's pretty decent, hey? You have also um, played with Lockie Brook, which is a big deal. Um, okay, so Tim on Instagram, are you sick of people asking if you're any relation to Brian Clough? I used to get it every day in Nottingham because he's a, he's a hero there, but I don't get it that much in, in Australia. Mm. Yeah, good one, Tim. Um, <laughs> La Lauren Talbot on Instagram, say the most British thing you can say. I don't know. What can you say? Just that. Um, <laughs> Jordan DeRose on Twitter. Who have you connected with most at the club so far? Um, it's like all the lads have been really good. Mm. Can't really name one. They've all, they've all been really good. Maybe Nick Ansel. Nick Ansel. How's he going? Doing really well. Yeah? He looks really strong. Yeah. He's getting there. It's a shame. We're looking forward to him playing some more for um, Adelaide United. Well, um, mate, that's it. So, thank you. Um, I'm going to give you the Kayla Sharples. Um, and what you need to do is just sign that, please. Uh, or not there. Like, sign it anywhere yeah. you want. Um, then we are going to give that away at the end of the season. So, we're playing Central Coast this weekend. Um, our next home game, I think it's victory, our next home game, which is massive. Original rivalry. Man, and this is great because we can get as many people to Cooper Stadium as possible. Do you hate Melbourne victory? Yep. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> that is all we need to know. Um, it's been great getting to know you. Thank you very much for sharing a little bit of time here with us. And, mate, all the best. As I said, it's really good to have you as part of the squad. I, I really feel like um, where we're at, uh, we've got a really good mix of experience and youth, and you've made your impact straight away. I'd love to say that I can remember your debut, but I can't because um, I was severely hydrated. Um, but appreciate your time on the Pitch Podcast, mate, and all the best this weekend against Central Coast. You're going to love Central Coast. It's really good. Enjoy the one tree there and the roundabout, okay? And the beaches, some nice beaches. Yeah, you probably won't get time to see them, though. Nah, maybe not. All right, thank you for the time. Thank you.